Hi, Aquarius. Welcome in, welcome in. Let me see what's going on with you guys the third week of June. What's the situation for my Aquarius, please? What does that mean? Three of Cups and the Five of Wands. Oh, my God. So, uh, okay. This is going to sound very weird, but I hope you guys can follow along with what I'm downloading here with these cards. Oh, Jesus Christ. Some of you could be dealing with a female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Others of you, it's just maybe you as like pumping out some creative side of yourself, like some passion coming out of you. But back at the farm, you have judgment, you have temperance, you have tower. This is like holy shit cards. These are three major arcanas, not in the pretty realm, especially in this combination. Um, the five of wands, I hate fives because those are the challenging cards. And then the three of cups at the back of your head. You could be dealing with three people, third party. I feel like you're monkey in the middle is what I really feel like, to be honest with you. I feel like you're stuck in the center of some shit, uh, like a storm. And literally, here's the storm, the tower. Something exploded. There was a big fight. Your world upended. Like, this situation came to a forefront. It just, boom. And it was coming, Aquarius. I'm going to front. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm your older sister giving you tough love. This was a situation that was like a runaway train. All right? And now it crashed and burned. And you've got to find your balance after the fact, right? Everyone does in this third-party situation with the Three of Cups. Because say this is at work, right? There's three of you. This is a team. This is a group. This is your network. And you're just somehow in the middle of it. Judgment. Needing to make a judgment call regarding a person or a situation. Temperance. Tempering yourself and resisting something so you could make that judgment call. The tower fell. The carpet was pulled right from under all your feet. And now it's like a new dawn, a new day. It's enlightenment time. But here's what I wanted to say stick with me, right? Because I think you're going through a new phase. And you've been going through this new phase, Aquarius. You've been feeling this way for months, maybe like half a year, maybe even a year ago. But with the age of Aquarius that came in this year, in 2024, you weren't sure about certain things. And then we had the eclipse season in April. And those things started eclipsing your life. And here we are, fast forward to June. Um, through Gemini season, because Gemini season, we're all in our heads, and it's all about our communication, and the communication of your thoughts came out now during June season, Gemini season, um, and kaboom. I think you've been feeling a certain way, and a lot of people didn't know this. Uh, the direction you were heading in, what you wanted, what you want to try out. Uh, I think you were keeping it quiet. And people were confused because this was like the new you that was erupting and coming out. Uh, but here it is. You're like, fuck you all. Lo and behold, this is it. And if you don't like it, I cut you. Because um, you have judgment here. Let's continue. Maybe I'm crazy. But that was like a total vibe connection I got from that. <laughs> What's coming towards Aquarius, please? Page of Cups. Texting, emailing, looking at something in an interesting, cute kind of way. And what is this? The Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a breakup with, if you're in a third party situation, let's go to the love angle now. If you're in a third party situation, no more lover. This is a rejection of the lover. So if you were the lover, they, you got rejected. If they were your lover, you rejected them and over text or over something light and fluffy or someone far younger than you it's like somebody here got kicked to the curb all right and not in like a certain kind of way yeah you walk away or they walked away it was just something like after that kaboom it was like well fuck you too <laughs> how about them apples but the person you're dealing with could have been very immature beach cups um, not understanding because, okay, like, let's say, for example, it's an Aries or a Taurus or even like a, Ge a Gemini. These are the babies of the Zodiac. Then let's go all the way around the wheel when we have Aquarius and Capricorn and Pisces. You guys are the wiser ones. 
in a way, those three zodiacs from the beginning of the wheel going to understand you. Will they flow like you? Sure. But will they understand your real psyche? No, but they will later on, a few months down the road, then they're going to get it. All right, I'm, I'm going, I'm talking crazy now, but I'm just saying all of this because of the person that you're dealing with is very immature or younger. What you don't see coming is you're going to heal from this dynamic and this situation, especially kind of, maybe you might do this alone. So some of you might be single or it's at the back of your head where you're like, fuck, now I'm single, but you're healing. Others of you, it's about your financial independence. Whatever the situation is, it's unrequited for you. So you're not happy, obvi, or it's not for you. You're like, I can't, this is just like not me anymore. I'm very different than who I was yesterday. What's the advice, please? The King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Five of Swords and Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to a certain individual or person that you think is very grounding or earthy or uh, somebody that you feel has their shit together, right? Um, five of Swords, you're all up in your head. You really need to stop being in your head and overanalyzing the, this person in this situation because you're holding on and what you need to do is let go. In a way, you just need to let things flow and see what happens. You might need to walk away from a certain individual. You really do. You need to let them go. You need to cut the cord of somebody and it could be someone old because there's a whole new you. What is the outcome here, please? Page of Cups. Interesting. No, sorry, Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, but your outcome, King of Cups, Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. You feel stuck and trapped. There's somebody here that's emotionally mature, somebody emotionally available, right? And the Seven of Wands. You find yourself resisting a certain situation or being very defensive regarding it. Whatever's going on with this individual, you feel trapped. You feel stuck. Maybe you want to go towards them and you can't. Maybe you're trying to get away from them and you can't. Um, but you seem to be very defensive. Uh, the situation again calls for something where it's like unrequited for you. It's like runner chaser. It's like not for me. So maybe you're resisting it. Let's continue over here, Aquarius, and see what's going on with your situation. Aquarius, please. Why is temperance here? Judgment tower. Ooh. Sort. Somebody here wants to level up. Somebody wants an upgrade, either at work or love, in a relationship. Yeah, it just looks like somebody wanted an upgrade. And I think maybe you were resisting it for a while or you because you were in between like phases of your life or a certain situation. But somebody here really let it go. And they just, I don't know. They, more in the head and less action. So the big fight happened. Now you're left with options as what to do after the remnants have all fallen. What is the Page of Cups and the Seven of the Queen of Wands in reverse? Oh, interesting. So I feel like even after this tower moment, you definitely had, um, it went your way. Let's put it that way. Uh, cause you're healing and you have six of wands. Six of wands talks about someone giving you an ego boost, telling you you're right. Someone telling or somebody coming back to you in regards to love or whatnot. And this heals you, this helps heal you. Um, it helps you start recovery. Right. And at the bottom of the deck, I do see a two of cups and the lover in reverse behind that. So you go from ex lover to a couplehood. So maybe your lover becomes a partnership with you. Others of you, it's 
getting rid of the lover and you getting into a partnership. Sometimes, guys, lover can be like this, right? You could be engaged to somebody and then your best friend is always fighting with your fiancé. You dump the friend, but you have the fiancé. You're a couple and you and your friend are the lovers. Lovers is another form of partnership where you are bonded together by the universe. So people confuse the lovers all the time. All right, let's continue. You needed each other for a reason, basically. So lovers typically, yes, we do think of regular lovers. But lovers is, can also be you and another friend, you and a colleague, you and a business partner. You, you need each other, but sometimes you fight with each other. Let's see, Four of Swords. Yeah, there is resistance to an affair here and not going back to it, not going back to something flaky, not going back to something, you know, that was triggering for you. You really are looking at those options. You're like, I'm not going to do the flaky lover lane bullshit. Okay, let's see what... It's like almost not taking a risk in a way. You need to let go of the lover that you dumped. And go towards the partnership that is stable. Because that's why you have the King of Pentacles there, to go towards the stable thing. And finding your pe inner peace and balance, temperance. What is the Eight of Swords? The King of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. This Ace here... Somebody's working really hard to bring forward the truth, okay? Really hard. This could be at your job too. But it's making you feel stuck by having this information because maybe you don't care. I don't know. But this person does have feelings for you. They do love you. Um, but there is some resistance here. There's hesitancy towards this individual. But you guys are going to put all your cards on the table. You're going to share your truths and you're going to work something out, whoever this is that I'm talking about. Yep. Good news. You're going to celebrate something. All right, let's continue and see what the romance angels have here for you, my beautiful Aquarius. I want you to be careful because somebody is wearing a false mask. They are faking the funk. There is somebody here who is lying to you. All right. Deception is here. You could be deceiving yourself or someone's deceiving you. You do have chemistry here with one individual. Deception. Yeah, definitely. The devil is going over deception, which is Capricorn energy. But it's also talking about something that's toxic. Chemistry. That could be the lover. Being left out in the cold. Something that was a burden. But being hopeful and positive. Interesting. So maybe it was just chemistry. All right, let's go to the Wisdom House of Night, please. What's going on here for my Aquarius, please? Aquarius, please. Complicated. Ain't that some shit for truth? complicated okay my sweet one wouldn't it be nice if life were always simple and things were obvious and transparent drawing this symbol reminds you that sometimes you're there are so many elements to consider that it can be next to impossible to understand them all in one moment especially when you most want to find an answer right now things are complex and only time will help you put all of the piece of the puzzle together just remember simple can also be boring and complications can cause or make for something much deeper okay sorry lost my place 
Um, just remember, simple can also be boring and complications can make for deeper, more mature experiences. Don't try to figure this one out. Just be open and follow the thread of life's mysterious web. All right, guys, this is what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me your comments down below because that actually helps the channel. And I will see you on the next one.